Okay, this is our next video. Today we're going to talk about is the Bible anti-Semitic? Uh, let's listen. One of the reasons that we might think that we have a problem with the Christian Bible is because there, many people have observed it is simply filled with anti-Semitic references. Hatred of Jews. Number one, number first verse in uh, number 17. And so upon you will come all the righteous blood that has been shed on earth, from the blood of the righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah, son of Berechiah, whom you murdered between the temple and the altar. That's from Matthew 23. By the way, that verse in Matthew is actually a mistake because the passage in the Jewish Bible shows you that it was not Zechariah, the son of Berechiah. It was, it was Zechariah, the son of Yehoyada. But the important thing here is that the Jewish people as a national group are being blamed for every innocent life that was ever taken going all the way back to before there were even Jews. You know, they blame Jews today for any time a kid in Gaza Strip falls down and bruises their knee. So it's not a new story that the Jews are blamed for everything. But the next passage is very disturbing. John chapter 8, verse 44, you are of your father the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desire. Here is a passage which basically speaks about the Jewish people as being the children of the devil. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, Paul writes, you suffered from your own countrymen the same things that those churches suffered from the Jews, who killed the Lord Jesus and the prophets and also drove us out. They displease God and are hostile to all men in their effort to keep us from speaking to the Gentiles so they may be saved. So here we're being told that Jews are hostile to all people. That's a pr pretty large thing to say about us. Acts chapter 7. You stiff-necked people, your hearts and ears are still uncircumcised. You were just like your ancestors. You always resist the Holy Spirit. Was there ever a prophet your ancestors did not persecute? They even killed those who predicted the coming of the righteous one, and now you've betrayed and murdered him. And finally, in Titus chapter 1, for there are many rebellious people full of meaningless talk and deception, especially those of the circumcision group, those are the Jews. They must be silenced because they are disrupting whole households by teaching things that ought not to be taught. And that, for what reason? For lucre's sake, for the sake of dishonest gain. So is the Bible anti-Semitic? Well, it is in some ways. And the way he's talking about uh, the later apostles, talking about the Jews being after them, that's true. The Christians were working within the synagogue system at first. And remember, the first Christians were Jews. They were Jews. And they were working within the synagogue system. And the, the, uh, the, the Jewish leadership within the synagogue system started to root them out as a heretical sect that was damaging their their people. So yes, they were persecuted and yes, they they did have some derogatory statements about them. Um, now they said the Jews to differentiate themselves, the Christians from the Jews who had not become Christians. And that was the terms that they used. So it's not a racial term because the Christians were Jews and the Jews were Jews. They were just differentiating, differentiating themselves, non-believers and believers in Christ. So there's Jews and Christians, but they're both racially Jews. So it's not a, a, an anti-Semitic movement. Uh, it's not a racial issue. It's a belief issue. It's it's a, a um, it's an intellectual issue. Okay, so 
you know, him talking, making it a racial issue and trying to call the New Testament anti-Semitic is ridiculous. And he knows that. He's got to know that. Because if we look at the Tanakh, we can find a lot of anti-Semitic stuff in there. But again, it's not really, it's, it's, it is in the Old Testament, like in the book of Jeremiah and others, <clears throat> it is talking about the race, the Jewish race. Um, because at that time, they were uh, doing things against God. Um, then God, from the time of Christ, turned it into a non-racial issue. God is non-racial. In, in the Jewish world, he's racial. He, he likes the Jewish race. And you have to join the Jewish race. But really, God is for every race. He's more about what you believe and that you follow his ways than he is about race. Um, the Old Testament is more racial and more about nations, where the New Testament under Jesus has nothing to do with that. It's about uh, what you believe. So let's take a look at some scriptures now to see how this works. Hello. Okay. This is another tool I like to use. It's called the Sword Project. It's a pretty good um, go-to tool for your computer or your phone. Uh, you can get it at the Crosswire, Crosswire Bible Society. Where are they here? Crosswire Bible Society. Google that and you'll find this, the SWORD project. They have other projects too, but this is the only one I'm really familiar. World Wide Web, crosswire.org. So the pro I've been using the SWORD for a while. It comes, um, it's a free program and it comes with the King James Version and with the Strong's numbers already loaded. Uh, you can see down here you have the Strong's number down here. Uh, you can go here, turn on Strong's numbers, and you see every word that has a Strong's number. You hover over it, it gives you the Strong's number definition, quick definition. Down below you can come up with a longer definition from Strong's. There's also some commentaries, uh, Easton. That you can find on uh, different topics, you know, whatever you can load a lot of different things. Um, also, you could I, you have different books of the Bible here. There's a parallel part. I don't have it set up. You you got to go in the in the options or in the preferences and set up which two versions you want in the parallel section. I've got the King James. Uh, this is uh, King James 1769 with Strong's numbers. Then there's a, an, an older, I, I have the, also the one with the Apocrypha, the old King James with the Apocrypha. And then what's this one? Cambridge edition of the King James. I was just looking at what the different King James versions are like. This is a Green's literal translation. That's an older literal translation. There's the Septuagint, Greek Septuagint. Uh, this is a Hebrew version. And Mesora. This here is a Dead Sea Scrolls variants. Um, you can look around on that. This is a Mesoretic text. Or you're gonna I'm not sure like if it doesn't have that book in the in the text then it's not going to uh, show up so this is probably the Torah only there it is it's a Masoretic version with only the Torah 
So you have to go into that at the book that it has in the Torah in order for it to show up in here. Then uh, there's Texas Recept, or what's this? Dead Sea Scrolls variants, Masoretic Text, Texas Receptus. So the Texas Receptus is only New Testament. So you have to go up into the uh, into the Gospels to find a, for to show up at all. Okay, so there's the Texas Receptus, the entire thing. And then I also have the Tyndale Bible, um, which is an older version pre before the King James. The King James was based on this one mostly. Uh, this is the one that William Tyndale wrote. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David. See, it's different. And then I have an even older version. Uh, the Wycliffe Bible, 1395. That's even older. It's it's funny. Book was spelled that way still. Gen generation of Yeshu Christ, the son of David, son of Abraham. So that's interesting. So anyway, so that's just a little bit about the Crosswire, the Sword project on Crosswire.org. So now, let's get to our study today. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at, uh, in the Tanakh, there are many, many um, parts of the Tanakh that could be considered anti-Semitic. Let's look at this one in particular, Jeremiah chapter 7. Oh, I did a mess. Did a mistake here. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 30. See, when you click this one, the verses, you see it turns blue, the verse that you're on. So it's, sometimes that's helpful when you're studying something. So let's scroll down to verse 30. And we got uh, 30. For the sons of Judah, oh, this is a, like, let's go back to the King James Version. Verse 30. For the children of Judah have done evil in my sight, says the Lord. This is Jews, right? The children of Judah. They have set their abominations in the house which is called by my name to pollute it. And they have built the high places of Tophet, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my heart. Therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I shall no, it shall no more be called Tophet, nor the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter, for they shall bury in Tophet till there be no place." and the carcasses of this people shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth, and none shall fray them away. Then I will cause to cease from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness and the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, for the land shall be desolate. Let's carry on. At time, says the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah and the bones of his princes and the bo bones of the priests and the bones of the prophets, the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves, and they shall spread them before the sun and the moon and all the host of heaven whom they have loved and whom they served and after whom they have walked and whom they have sought and whom they have worshipped. They shall not be gathered nor be buried. They shall be for dung upon the face of the earth. So now how anti-Semitic can you get? Right? Um, so, you, would you call this anti-Semitic? This is Jeremiah. And there are many, many prophets who speak this kind of way about Jews. About Judah. So, 
it's not anti-Semitic because there's a lot of parts where God talks good things about Judah. So this is when they are uh, some Jews God hated and some Jews God loved. Okay? And these apparently are some of the ones that he hated because of what they did and how they worshipped other gods and they worshipped the hosts of heaven and they didn't account God for anything, the true God. So it's not about being a Jew, it's about serving God. See, it's not about race, it's about the heart. And you'll see this even in the Tanakh that uh, the heart is, there's a lot of people who were not Jews who were loved by God because of their heart not because of their race. So that's very, um, very uh, volatile and infuriating to start calling uh, manuscripts anti-Semitic, like uh, th this or the New Testament. It's, um, don't even go there. That's, that's ridiculous for one thing because it's not about anti-Semitic. It's, uh, you know, we know what anti-Semitic is. And this is not about that. This is about what's in your heart. Now, let's go to the, the scripture that um, he was pointing out, one of them, uh, about Jesus being anti-Semitic, okay? So, John... John chapter 7, verse 30. Boom, boom, 30. And they sought to take him. So now, uh, okay, start in 28. Then Jesus cried in the temple as he taught, saying, You both know me, and you know where I am. And I am not come of myself, but he that sent me is true, who you know not. So he's saying, God sent me, and God is true, but you don't know God. But I know him, for I am from him, and he has sent me. Then they sought to take him, but no man laid his hands on him, because the hour was not yet come. And many of the people... Jews believed on him and said when Christ comes will he do more miracles than these which this man has done the Pharisees Jews heard that the people murmured such things concerning him and the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him then Jesus said to them yet a little while I'm with you and then I will go to him that sent me you shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am, you cannot come. Then said the Jews among themselves, Where will he go, that we shall not find him? Will he go to the dispersed among the Gentiles, and teach the Gentiles? What manner of saying is this, that he said, You shall seek me, and not find me, and where I am, you cannot come? In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. He that believes in me, as the scripture, the Tanakh, has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. This he spoke of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said, Of a truth, this is a prophet. So there's Jews, some of the Jews, saying he's a prophet. Others said, This is the Christ, the Messiah, right? Jews. But some said, Shall Christ come out of Galilee? 
Has not the scripture said that Christ comes out of the seed of David and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was? So there was a, divi a division among the Jews because of him. And some of them would have taken him, but no man laid hands on him. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said to him, Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, Never a man spoke like this man. Then answered them the Pharisees, Are you also deceived? Have any of the rulers or the Pharisees believed on him? Okay, let's look at John. John chapter 8, verse 44. Forty-four. Okay, now let's go back a little bit. Jesus said to them, to the Jews, he's in the temple uh, talking, in the temple mount, talking to the Jews, okay? If God were your father, you would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? because you cannot hear my words. You are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God hears God's words. You therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. Then answered the Jews and said to him, Say we not well that you are a Samaritan and have a devil? Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and you do dishonor me. And I seek not my own glory, there is one that seeks and judges. Verily I say to you, if a man keeps my saying, he will never see death. Then the Jews said to him, Now we know you have a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets. And you say, if a man keep my saying, he shall never taste of death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? The prophets are dead. Who make you yourself? And Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honors me, of whom you say that he is your God. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like you. But I know him and keep his saying. So, you see, it's, this is uh, more about what you believe than about what your race is. So, this is uh, God. Um, if you look at the prophecies in the Tanakh, you will see where God kind of takes this... Um, the oracles of God, he takes it away from these Pharisees and these kings and these this, this nation, one nation of men that has all of this. He takes it from them and gives it to all nations. So it doesn't matter what uh, race you are anymore. And Jews are included in that, that they also can believe and they also can... Um, be connected with God, but it's not your your race that connects you with God. It is what you believe. So it's not about race. So you know, starting to drag up the old anti-Semitic card. Um, that's appropriate in some cases. It's not appropriate in this case at all. Uh, you know, you're going to start uh, opening that can of worms where you're going to call the Tanakh anti-Semitic. How far is it going to go? So, bad, bad thing to do, really, in my opinion.
And thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and help out the channel. Thank you very much.